King News, my wonderful people, our very own brother Jado, and our Nollywood veteran, a uh, wonderful actress, are, uh, you know, soliciting for votes and telling the people of Lagos State these are the governorship and, and the deputy governorship candidates of the People Democratic Party in Lagos State, saying to the people of Lagos, you don't want to keep yourself, you know, constantly and continuously at the mercy of those who do not want you to move forward. They have made up their minds to contest and to put themselves out there to ensure that at the end of the day, yes, they are bringing Lagosians out of the clause as they, as they fondly uh, you know, refer to it, of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Here at all, until this time, uh, Tinubu has been the one in charge of uh, Lagos politics since he became the governor and Nigeria returned to democracy in 1999. If he does not say, he may not have. So this is what Jedu and um, Funke are trying to break that jinx. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as they seek to on to unseat Sanwolu, the current governor who is seeking a re-election. Vote PDP for better Lagos. Mani replies and tells people, we know what you need and we will do that. What we need are your votes and those of your relative. Go ahead and campaign. Chimeduke Mani a former member of the People Democratic Party Board of Trustees, BOT, has asked Lagos State residents to cast a large number of their votes for the governorship candidate, Dr. Abdulaziz Adeniro, because of his fantastic plan for Lagos and for them. The PDP candidate, according to Manny, won't deceive people with his campaign promises. Manny was abroad, and Mrs. Funke Akende campaign tree as it traveled through 12 electoral world in, in different local governments of the state. Speaking to members of the Women Mobilization Committee, widows and non-Yoruba community, Mani declared that the state needed a deliverer who would make use of the wealth of Lagos State for the benefit of all our citizens. He claimed that Adeniro has demonstrated commitment and resolve to save the masses and, let, and ensure he, pl he puts plans and processes in place to bring people out of poverty, pain, and sorrow. Relax your mind. I do not tell you lies. Our governorship candidate is not lying to you either. PDP is for you and your interests. We know what you need. All we need from you is your vote and that of your relative. You do not have any problem. Just make sure you vote PDP. Jado will help you. Put your hands together and make sure you vote for PDP. They continue to tell the people that the reign of Tinubu and his terror on the state needs to come to an end. It will take people who are taking both steps to bring this, all this to an end. Sanwolu is strictly guarded and directed by the very said same person. Is that the person you want to continue to be your leader? We must be wise and make sure we are making the right choices. Governor Babajide Sanwolu, who told you he wants to be your, who wants to be a governor for a second time, you need to go back to the drawing board and ensure you have seen what he has done. How did he relate with with Lagosians during the answers? How is he looking after things? The other day he lied that he commissioned four hospitals. Meanwhile, it was two. First was the one that was he met in office four months before he came into office. The second was by the federal government. Since he came into office in the last four years, he has managed to work on two, and even that two is not completed. Yet he came on national TV to tell Nigerians he has delivered four working hospitals to the people. Are these the people you want to continue to make as leaders? This is why we need to make our choice now. The Jado train has made it known. So my wonderful people, you can see for yourself that unless we are wise and we know what we want, we will not allow politicians' words to persuade us. It doesn't matter from what angle they are coming from. If we are rest assured, we are resolute and our hearts are made up and we are determined for a change, then we will have it.
For if you don't even know what you are looking for, when you find it, you will not know that you have found it. So it has become imperative and very important that Nigerians begin to ensure that they know exactly what they want from state to state and then to the federal level. We cannot allow politicians sway us with their words. They've done it before. They will continue to do it. It's all to get you to you know, get them into office and then they shut the door right behind you. In fact, the interesting one is that one went, the president went abroad as soon as he became president and they were asking about the youth and he told them that the youth are very lazy, unprepared and not ready to do anything. That what the youth engage themselves in is that they tell people that uh, their country is very rich. You know, it's an oil producing nation and so they don't need to work. I cannot believe, I can't even remember anybody having that discussions, discussions in those lines with President Muhammad Buhari. But yet, that was what he told international communities with regards to Nigerian youth. So we must not be deceived again. The English artist says, once beaten, twice shy. It means that when they tell Peking word, once, he go hear them, he go understand them, he not go make the same mistake again. Which mistake you they make now, what you don't make before, we say you need to correct and ensure say that kind of mistake you not repeat them. Now we did so na election year. May we not make that kind of mistake again, no? because we go live with the consequences of the decision when we they make. May we realize, say, every single one of us we are an important part. Again, I repeat, an important part of this piece. For Nigeria to become better, you get part to play. I get part to play. May we play the part together so that we can deliver this nation truly and really. Please oh, don't forget every single person. Yeah? Don't let anybody tell you, say your votes no matter and a lie. Now, little, little drops. Yeah? Every drop, they will say every little help matters. Every drop part participate in what makes up the ocean. If you continue to decommode them, it be like say plenty. Oh, but after years, you will see and say it becomes depleted. That's what happens. That's what happens. So we must channel our energy in the right direction and ensure that politicians do not, uh, you know, do not, uh, you know, take advantage of us and disregard us and throw away that which really belongs to us. We must work at it and we must ensure that at the end of the day, we bring Nigeria right back on track. The body your court to, the day my court. The day our handle make we make this difference. If we not one now, we not go. It go, it go take for us to do one. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. Is bye for now. Bye-bye.